I'm sure you've seen one of these before. It's called a Newton Cradle, and it's a common office type of toy that you place on your desk and play around with it. And I'm sure many of you have played around with it like so. But what happens when you pull two balls back? Let's watch and see what I can make this do. I bet you couldn't do that. Well, the reality is, is neither can I. And what I did was a bit of trick photography. In reality, what happens is very different. And that is because what you saw before violates the conservation of energy. What really happens here? Well, if I take one ball back, of course, I get one ball on the other side. If I take two balls back, I'm going to get two balls on the other side. And if I take three balls back, I'm going to get also three balls on the other side. Heck, if I go for one further, if I take four balls, I'll get four balls on the other side. In each of those cases, the conservation of energy is roughly conserved. Now let's look at our Newton Cradle from a mathematical perspective and what we're going to do is we're going to be looking at both the conservation of momentum and the conservation of kinetic energy for both situations. One where it's wrong and one where it's right. Let's first look at the right situation. And so what we have is, of course, I've got two balls going in like so and I have two balls coming off like so. Now I'm going to use my yellow pen for momentum and I'm going to use orange for energy in terms of kinetic energy. So the momentum before here is simply equal to the total mass multiplied by the velocity. So we have 2 mv because we have two masses. Now the total momentum afterwards is still 2 mv. So that's no, no problem. If we now look at the kinetic energy, remember kinetic energy is a half mv squared, but we have two masses. So now the total kinetic energy becomes mv squared on this side. On the other side, we also have the total kinetic energy, which is mv squared. So in other words, total kinetic energy is still mv squared. So same kinetic energy. So we say this is an elastic collision. We now have here two balls going in, but we have now one ball coming off. What does that mean? So let's first look at the terms of the momentum. We know that the total momentum is, in this case, 2 mv. That means the total momentum after here has to still be 2 mv, but we only have one mass. So in other words, what we really have is m multiplied by 2v. In other words, the velocity is twice the velocity that it weight came in here. And that's why the ball ends up going a little higher in our example. So with that in mind, let's now look at the kinetic energy. Well, the total kinetic energy is still mv squared because the fact is that we had two balls coming in. What about here? Now, remember our kinetic energy is a half mv squared. So that's equal to a half. Now, in this case, we only have one mass. So we have m, but now we have 2v. Remember, it's twice the velocity. So we have to square that. So when you calculate that out, you get 2 m v squared. So what do you notice? Well, yes, momentum is definitely still conserved, no problems. But we're having an initial kinetic energy that is less than our final kinetic energy. We've created energy. We've increased the amount of kinetic energy. Well, that's not possible because that violates the conservation of energy. Please like, share and subscribe. Check out my website as well. And drop a comment down below if this video has been particularly helpful for you. My name is Paul from High School Physics Explained. Take care. Bye for now.